My name is Beth and this is my tiny house. Come inside. So this tiny house is a 24 foot long tiny house built on a PJ trailer. Um, and I built it myself uh, with help from family and friends. I actually had the shell built by um, a builder in Wisconsin who has done a lot of these builds and has a lot of experience. And then I did all of the finishing work, plumbing, electrical myself with the help from my family. So this is the main living area um, that I use for just hanging out. This couch actually folds down into a full-size bed. It comes to about here and it's built on slats so it slides out and then this couch cushion just lays down to make a flat bed and it's pretty comfortable for a guest or two. Um, so this is, you know, kind of the main sitting area and then over here I have a, a TV that swivels out um, so you can watch it in the kitchen or you can bring it out to watch it over here. Then I have some uh, built-in storage space over here that's nice for, you know, having items, lots of plants, and some books. Um, and then over here I have the Dickinson propane heater. It's actually meant for sailboats, um, and so it's great for small spaces. It vents right out here, and the great part about this vent is it actually pushes out the hot air in the middle tube, and then the outer tube brings in cold, fresh air, so that keeps the, the tube nice and cool. Um, and then when it's lit, it actually has a really nice flame, which adds some ambiance, especially in the colder winter months. Over here, uh, this is kind of the table, office, dining area. So this table folds out just like this, um, and then it has a chair that matches it. And so it's a nice working space if you need extra counter space when you're cooking or if you want to, you know, sit with your laptop and do work or to eat meals. And there's enough room for another stool over here as well. And then over here is the kitchen area. Um, and so the first thing that you see is this oven and stove. Uh, so this is actually something that I pulled out of my uncle's camper. Um, you know, it's a great little stove. It's a Magic Chef stove and there are four cooktop burners, which is really nice if you like to make a lot of food like me. And then it also has uh, a good size oven um, for making pizzas or I think you can pretty much fit anything that you'd fit in a normal oven uh, in here. And there are two different racks that you can use. Um, and then under the under here where the toe kicks are, I actually put um, additional storage just for some pantry items, things like uh, canned goods, jars of peanut butter, that kind of thing. Um, and then pots and pans fit nicely under here. Uh, there's more, you know, cabinet space right over here. I have a, a drawer for all of my utensils that I use. Um, and then there's plenty of counter space between this counter if you use the extra table over there and then on this side there's counter space as well. I decided to use an under the counter uh, freezer and fridge just so I could save some space and it fits pretty much everything that I need in there. I cook a lot but um, it stores just enough fresh food for myself um, and for guests if they come over. Um, and then I have some storage up here for things like cups and plates and dishes, things like that. It was really important to me to have a nice big sink. And so I, I repurposed this uh, cast iron sink that I found um, at the Habitat for Humanity. So that was really a great find. And then over here I have some extra pantry space. Um, I wanted, you know, to add a little bit of extra color. So having some canned goods here um, adds a little bit of color into the kitchen. And then there's additional storage on this side. Over here, there's some additional cabinet space. Um, and then over here, there are some built-in shelves as well. And then there's lots of storage in the stairs. Um, and so I put some of my hanging clothes here. Um, I have extra baskets and things like this just for household items. Um, they're actually, 
the stairs are really deep and so they hold a lot of items for me. It's good storage. And then over here we have the bathroom area. Um, and so it's actually a really good sized bathroom for one person or for uh, two people if you needed that. Um, so right here, this is where the majority of my clothes are. Um, I made sure to have lots of hanging room for my work shirts. And then there's additional, um, you know, folded clothes area here, room for shoes, and then some additional, you know, hanging items right here. I chose to go with a um, nature's head composting toilet. I think they're so great um, and they're so easy to maintain. There's never any odor or anything like that if you take care of it properly and it works really well for me. I have some additional storage space up here just for some toiletries and things like that. Then there are hooks um, for hanging towels, things like that on this side. And then over here, I have my sink, which is really important for me to have in my bathroom. Additional storage down here for things like toilet paper, more toiletries. And then in here I have a bathtub and a shower. It's very comfortable um, to use. And if you needed to, you know, wash your clothes in it, or if you needed to have, you know, a dog or a child that needed a bath in a tub, that's really helpful as well. The last thing in the bathroom is this cabinet here, or this closet here, and I actually have a washing machine uh, down here, and this fits most things like sheets, um, blankets, any clothes that I need to use. It, it's been really great for me, and then I dry my clothes outside, which is no problem in Southern California. I have a tankless eco temp water heater, which provides me with all of the hot water that I've ever needed and it works really quickly. And then I just store other um, cleaning products, you know, in here, like I've got my brooms, got my stick vacuum here. And I also have um, my uh, shower vent right here. So it pulls out any of the moisture from the air when you're taking a shower. Um, but I've never had a problem with, you know, the bathroom getting too steamy. It really sucks the air right through. So you never have any moisture issues in the bathroom. And if we move over this way, we have the loft. Um, so this is actually, it has two lofts. So the first loft over here, um, I just use for storage. Uh, there's a lot of storage in this house between you know the bench right here which is where I store pretty much all of my camping gear, sleeping bags, tent, that kind of thing, uh, bedding for guests, that's really helpful to store here. And then up here is where I store things that I don't use as often. Um, and I actually have a ladder um, that I've tucked underneath the, in between the beams right here which is really handy because it's tucked away so it's out of the way, but when you need it, you can pull it down and then it just hooks right here. Um, so that's really easy to do and I can actually do it um, without a stool. I can just stand up here and unclip the hooks. So that's really convenient if you need a ladder to get something from your storage loft. The other loft is actually the sleeping loft. Um, and so I actually built this loft to be a little bit lower, you still have plenty of head clearance underneath the beams in the kitchen right here. But in the sleeping loft, I wanted to make sure I had enough headroom for myself so it was comfortable to be in. Uh, so we can go up to the loft right now. So this is the sleeping loft. Um, there's plenty of room. I think it's nine feet long here. And you can actually arrange your bed in a couple of different ways. I've tried multiple ways and I thought this was the most comfortable. Um, and so I've got a great foam mattress. It's very comfortable, but it's low enough so it gives you enough um, head clearance when you're sitting in bed. Um, and so, you know, you could arrange your bed this way or this way like I have it. And I believe a king size bed might fit in here. Right now I have a full size bed because it's just me. But there's also, you know, all this space right here just for sitting. And so I like to have comfy rugs if I just wanna sit and read a book in my loft. Um, and then there's also additional storage space that you could use right here for 
maybe clothing, um, sweaters that you don't wear as often. And then I just built this little um, cabinet space over here so I can have some of my clothes that I don't use as much in baskets. Um, and then, you know, anything that you need for sleeping can just be right here. And then with some lights, it makes it feel really cozy up in the loft at night.